tormenta. Let me see. Make sure. Hey everybody, my name is Bud Brown, this is my wife, what's your name? Guyan. Gloria Brown. Um, thanks for coming by the channel. Normally, I'm going to set this camera up a little bit higher. It may not make any difference, but... Uh, normally, we go out every morning for a couple of hours. She goes her way, I go my way. And then about 10 o'clock or 10.30, we get back together again, come home. And then we'll sit in the living room or here and just uh, discuss the day. How was your morning? So I thought it may be interesting to... Ichorinito, <laughs> call it pipe. Honey, you look like you're mad about something. Good morning, everybody. All right, that's better. Now you're getting with the program. My husband's a very pain in the butt. Ahoy. He's harassing me all the time. Now? Yes. We'll start all over. Take two. How was your morning? <laughs> morning my morning is fine. Was it? Yep. So I dropped you off at the corner. It take very long to get a tricycle. Oh, about five minutes. Yeah. Did you get frustrated or it was okay? Nah. Yeah. yeah my, my knee is giving up though. Somebody talk to somebody, they always ask about your knee. His uh, sister said uh, uh, cortisone will fix that knee for several... Yeah, but they have broken, uh, the, the muscle is broke, cut off. Well, we, we need to know the specifics, don't we? Yep. But uh, she said, you get, now I know you're going to, you're going to squawk, but you get a, a cortisone shot in the knee and said it's good for like three, four, five months. Now forget it then. Honey. Then I'm not, then how much is it going to cost? Minimal. Well, pain, you know. I like it the way it is right now. As long as I can walk, it doesn't bother me. I take it like it is. All right, but anyway, I had a good meeting this morning. Um, Greg and Wilma. Hey, shout out, shout out to Greg and Wilma. Thanks for the breakfast this morning and coffee. I had a great uh, chit chat. And uh, we're gonna, uh, she's originally from Leite. And so right on, uh, what is it, the town? Uh, Takloban? Tak Takloban, yeah. And uh, that's Bisaya speaking area. On the other side is what I... You see, if it is though, I just, I mean, you might think that I am from the Philippines. Yes, I am. I was just born here until I was 14 years old. So I don't know anything about things here in the Philippines so much. But yeah. if you ask me where I live in California, I know where that is. <laughs> yeah. I spend my time, I, mean, I spend my life, my almost of my life in California, so... Well, she was here, make a long story short, she was here until she, in the Philippines uh, until she was 20 years old and we met, and actually she was 21, uh, but uh, round numbers off, she was 20 years here in the Philippines and then she went to the States and spent 40 years in the Philippines, so I mean double the, I mean, in the States. Now he's going back and he's going to get more. In the States. Now he's going back and he's going to get more. Who's going back? I am. He's going to stay here. <laughs> so bye-bye. <laughs> Let's see how long she's going to last here. Okay. Here's the deal. Um, our daughter uh, has been bugging us. She's, she's a Navy corpsman, if you're not familiar with that. It's like a nurse. It's like an Army medic. And she's still in. She's been in about 17 or 18 years now. 
think it's been 20, 20 years. 20 years already? I think so. Grandpa died in 1975. Wow. Well, she, she was almost 21. Well, anyway, she's been, she's still in. And uh, one of her jobs uh, on the side is to visit with a doctor to uh, homebound uh, people. And I think that's the word, homebound. But she visits people that can't get out of the house, and usually they're older people. And uh, she said it's a sad situation because their children, many of them, the children don't visit them. And so that reminds Tammy, our daughter, of us. Uh, and so she knows that, you know, we're in our 70s, and so even though we're in good health, she, she misses us terribly, her and my son both. So I said to myself, maybe uh, we can go back and visit or stay with them for a while. Two, two weeks. Two weeks or well. Then we're going to Mexico. You're getting ahead of the story, huh? That's right. <laughs> Make the little story short. No explanation asked. <laughs> so we're going to stay with her for a while. And then Gloria and I are thinking, just thinking, Mexico. We lived in Mexico for a while. But it's not going to be, I mean, we're going to be here in the Philippines probably another year. Mm -hmm. Another year anyway. But we're just thinking, okay, so... I know I don't want to get, you know, get ahead of ourselves, but uh, we've been here in the Philippines about 10 years. We've enjoyed ourselves very much. And um, we've always said, you know, when it's time to move on down the road, we will. But that doesn't mean anything for sure. The One of the main things that I wanted to get while I was here is a permanent resident card. And you got that. And I got it. And I'm going to show it here. Because I'm so proud. I don't know if you can see it. Permanent resident. Yeah. Per permanent resident. So, the way I see it in my mind, all the tourists and people are coming here, you know, for to uh, visit, getting that big long line. Mr. and Mrs. Brown, your permanent residence, just come on, come on through. You're a hot shot. <laughs> I am. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we got a permanent resident card, meaning we can come and go when we want. And I can come and go because that means that I don't need... All it takes her. is money. All it takes is money. Uh, I don't need her by my side like a Balik Bayan uh, visa. But anyway, so... Uh, Excuse me, you don't need me on your side? Not on a permanent resident. How do you think you get that permanent residence? Yeah, you can answer the question, can't you? <laughs> You're Jeez, cute. Mark. You're cute. So these days, uh, we're doing our regular uh, daily schedule, and then we come and routine, talk about the day. Daily routine. Daily routine. And uh, the Blue Boy, someone uh, talked about, oh, I had a, a few people asking me about, am I going to sell the Blue Boy, and how much am I selling it for? So here's the deal on that. Uh, I, I was so disgusted with it because if you followed my channel, we've had things, you know, breaking, going wrong, just little things, but still an irritation. So the last thing we had done was uh, the front brake, and it's brand new, replaced. So now everything is fine with the Blue Boy, which I say, which I say to myself, do I really want to sell it when everything is working great? But then again, what's going to go wrong? I don't know. So I'm going to take a gamble, and I just I don't want to worry about it. So I decided to sell it, 
and someone uh, took me up on the offer and is going to send me uh, money with, uh, by Western Union and he's going to pick it up and he's going to take it uh, to his place in Mindanao. So there's no uh, exact timeline for that, but that's what's the latest update on the Blue Boy. What are we going to do for transportation? Well, we thought about that. You know Tano, what a guy. We have his phone number, and he always comes when we call him, and he takes us where we want to go. He's done that for years. He's not too far away from you. No, and he doesn't live that far away. However, there are a couple of days a week that he doesn't work, right? And... Is they call it by the number. Yeah, I guess the boss is kind of like a union job where they call your number or to tell you when you can work and when you can't work. But bottom line is, he has a what, cousin and friend mm -hmm. yeah. and other tricycle drivers that will come and pick us up and take, take us where we want to go uh, when he's not available. So that's our transportation situation. And, uh, you know, I, I know I ask for it when I ask people what they think and like the Molly Mobile and, and other things, I get a variety of uh, advice. I'm not going to say unsolicited because I asked for it. But it's very interesting. Uh, some will say, definitely do this. And then others, definitely do that. And then there's some that say, we know that you'll make the right decision. <laughs> Is that That's finding what? a woman, despite like like finding a wife. Like finding a wife. No advice on that. <laughs> Are you going to give advice? No. No? Okay. What's the way to give the advice? I know. The people will do what they want to do. Yep, that's right. But that's okay. You know, everybody has to follow their heart and mind. Oh, that reminds me. This past week, I have visited and had coffee every morning. And, and in the near future, I've got appointments for coffee. But I'm learning that there's planners and then there's flying by the seat of the pants. <laughs> Unfortunately, we are a little bit of a planner, but then we rely a lot on circumstances that, that come up. But I've noticed the fellows that are planners and they've planted for years, they've researched, they seem to work, plan, how, how to go, plan the work and work the plan. They come here, they know what they want, they know they've done their research, they've done their homework, and they seem to be having success, you know? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to try to learn from them, them and uh, try to plan things, and if something goes wrong, plan B. Plan C. Plan A. And plan A. Don't forget the A. <laughs> Is there anything else you wanted to say? No. I just need to do the talking. Thanks for coming by, everybody. If this is your first time, welcome to my channel. We're just showing our daily life. And so many that have been with me for years and years, I really do appreciate uh, you coming by and supporting us in so many ways and even just a thumbs up is really a support <laughs> making a uh, YouTube likes thumbs up they like comments and it kind of pushes the video up uh, so they would recommend the video for for other people so you could do us a favor give us a thumbs up if you like this video although I don't know this is not very exciting but go down go down yeah. Up. Down. Up, up. <laughs> Don't listen to her. <laughs> All right. <sighs> Let's tell everybody goodbye. Thanks for coming by. We'll catch you later. Yeah, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs>